Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my video presentation of a virtual poster with the title How much students in primary school know about waste sorting? A pilot research. My name is Igor Dobracha from primary school Juraj Dobrila Rovin in Croatia. In this video presentation, I will present you five sections of my poster. In the beginning, there is a small introduction, followed by the use methodology, results and conclusion. At the end, a list of the used references will be presented. The Croatian education system incorporates sustainable development as one of its seven cross-curricular topics. The cross-curricular theme mentioned above encompass the three dimensions of sustainable development, namely environmental, reducing the use, social, respect, rethink and reflect, and economic, recycle and redistribute. These dimensions are interconnected and aim to equip students with the necessary skills to engage in responsible social behavior, ultimately leading to personal and overall well-being. Cross-curricular themes are achieved through the integration of educational domains and instructional subjects across all mandatory and elective courses, as well as within the classroom settings to the implementation of diverse projects, extracurricular or field teaching, and extracurricular activities. Waste management is a compulsory subject in all three dimensions of the second cycle of education, which encompasses the third, fourth and the fifth grades of primary school. The European Framework of Competences for Sustainability operates at the European Union level. The adoption of Green Camp aims to establish a comprehensive framework of competences for sustainability that ought to be incorporated into educational curricula. This framework seeks to facilitate the cultivation of knowledge, skills and attitudes among students that foster empathic thinking, planning and action, as well as a sense of responsibility and concern for the well-being of our planet and public health. The objective of the pilot study was to assess the knowledge level of 6th grade primary school students following the completion of the waste management task outlined in the second educational cycle, which typically occurs in the third, fourth and fifth grades of primary school. The measurement of knowledge acquisition was conducted using a brief online survey questionnaire, which was administered on a voluntary basis while asking to the research norms for children. The pilot study has a total of 66 grade children with 38 being boys and 22 being girls. The Jamovi software package was utilized to analyze the gathered data. The brochure, which was published by the Rowing Utility Company as a component of the Waste Management Education Initiative in the city of Rovin Rovinho and municipalities of Bale Kampfernaschmin, outlines the proper disposal of multi-layer packaging waste in a designated container for a plastic and metal. Additionally, it is mentioned that fruit peel is classified as a form of bio waste. Based on the response obtained, it is apparent that a significant proportion of participants hold the belief that multi-layer packaging ought to be disposed of in a paper container, whilst a minority of respondents advocate for disposal of such waste in a plastic container. When queried about the categorization of the banana peel, a significant proportion of participants accurately identified it as a bio-waste, although a minority held the belief that it constituted mixed municipal garbage. According to the literature, it has been reported that the peel of the banana typically constitutes approximately 30 to 40 percent of the overall weight of the fruit. Hence, in the case of the banana, with a weight of 200 grams, 
the accord response would fall between the range of 60 to 80 grams. Based on the finding of the pilot study, it is evident that on average, female participants perceived the bite of the banana pills to be 70.7 grams, whereas male participants perceived it to be 72.04 grams. Their results align with the existing literature of the bite of the banana pills. Based on the finding of the pilot study, it was asserted that the majority of pupils lack proficiency in garbage sorting, hence highlighting the imperative for more educational interactives in this domain. The pilot study additionally saw that the students possess the ability to assess the quantity of waste generated by banana pills, constituting approximately 30 to 40 percent of the overall weight. Hence, it is imperative to provide students with further information regarding the power proportion of bio-waste derived from non-consumable biofluid components. The aforementioned information will also prove beneficial to individuals in their future roles as consumers and enable them to make more educational purchasing decisions. It can be inferred that the assessment of education objectives, even through brief evaluations, it is vital for enhancing knowledge adoption. Here is a list of used references. At this point, I can just say thank you very much for your kind attention. If you have any questions, you can contact me via email.